If the hotel is nice and you're walking around showing us the hotel, what re what resort is it? We shouldn't have to be in the comments. What resort is that? What fucking resort is that? Like, why are you showing us if you're not going to tell us what the resort is? You want to run a house, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to run a house. Say, don't be that basic bitch. You know how much these Uggs cost? So? Like a hundred dollars. Some that still don't justify you to wear them shits outside. I don't. I'm not wearing. What are you saying? Oh, oh, you talking about the people who wear the Uggs outside? Oh, I thought you were saying being a basic bitch because I got the knockoffs. Oh, you talking about wearing them outside? I'd be like, do I look ugly? You'd be like, no, you're to beautiful. To me, you don't. No. At that moment, to me, you don't. You're beautiful. Just because yo, you think you're ugly fuck. Don't like mean that I gotta think you're ugly fuck. I'd be like, this nigga trying to set me up. You know damn where I look ugly right now. No, nigga, I think you look cute. Bitch, is that possible? Is that possible? For me to think that you look cute on your ugly days. Ooh, so you admit that it's my ugly days. Because you feel as if it's your ugly days. I didn't admit shit. You You're just trying said, to jump and make me admit something. Why are you doing short people stuff? <laughs> just clap. All you wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat Just trying to get to the bag We on the same page You the same way Only keep the We have made it to Colorado We are in Denver Um, Right now we're leaving The car rental place Well, leaving the airport pretty much And we are about to head out to Breckenridge That's the where the good ski resorts are at So that's where I booked my stay at Um yeah so that's what we're about to do right now we're gonna go get something to eat it's about an hour and a half drive so say hi Ox. yeah let me get that ox what up though yeah what up though a whole dub Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Sure what's the address? Just type in Welks Resort. W-E-L-K-S. And it should say Welks Resort Breckenridge. No, I don't want no steak here. Talking about it's gonna be elk. No. This is our kind of study. You don't want that? Why do I think they country here? If we 
on the run Nothing matters when we one on one Looking at us cause we going dumb We on the same wave, you the same way You know I'll be down if it's with you Where we going, baby, what's the move? We should take a trip up to the moon Guess I'm a child It is freezing out here, like And it connects to the one bedroom. Connects to the bedroom. You can go back in. I love it. And this is a closet. I don't even know what this room was. This is just a closet. So I'm gonna have, have all my clothes in here. Get sexy. Nice full length mirror. Yeah, this lady with the mountains in the background. Talk my shit. This is a good view. Hold up. That's okay. I'm saying just to like sit and do like talks. No, but this don't open all the way. I don't like that. This don't open all the way. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am on my ski vacation in Breckenridge, Colorado. What are you doing? Taking the shit to where it goes, to the bedroom. Thanks. Is that fine? Is that cool? Mm. Where would you like for me to take your stuff? Where, where could I possibly take your shit? You can from? unpack it and put it I'm in the not closet. Nothing. I'm just gonna you can you can unpack my bags. Nothing. Thank you, thank you, concierge. Just sit in How am I sick now? <laughs> anyway, I want to take this hat off and this wig is so itchy. I do not like this wig at all. I do not like this wig. Let me see how I look on camera. <laughs> Horrible, but or I should have brought my ring light. Do you need some of these fingers? Because if not, I'm gonna use all of them. Yes, I do. Okay, there goes my plans to use them all. Maybe I don't need Let's go with the black. So you're trying to match this with brown and it goes more with black. My eyes is moving in 60 uh, F frames per second right now. I don't know why. It's like, that's how it looks like it's moving fast, like 60 frames per second. You think it's messing with my eyes? I mean, same shit with motion sickness. It's just like, it's everything is moving really fast. I'm like, mm -hmm. Is that happening to you? Mm -hmm. That's scary. You can take motion sickness pills if you get motion sickness. It, it's, not, it's not like an a, a annoying feeling. I mean, I feel you, but I'm just saying just in case it does, because I know you do get motion sickness. So I feel as if you might be a little bit more susceptible to getting altitude sickness as well. So I'm just letting you know a remedy to that is to take some motion pills. Some motion sickness pills. I bought nausea pills. I didn't bring motion. I didn't buy some from them. Yeah, motion sickness. Uh, actually, I learned from somebody else. They told me that. that was actually... I thought you was going to say I'm on drugs. <laughs> I didn't know you was going to diagnose it. I thought you was going to think I was crazy just now. Because I was like, I know I'm not tripping. Like, It's just like. Because the air is thinner up here. So you, so it's kind of like you're probably depriving yourself of, of oxygen a little mm. bit. And then you've been breathing heavy. So. That's just your body trying to, and being lightheaded and, and being weird. Are you susceptible? I wanna, I'm hoping it doesn't mess with my um sleeping. Cause I'm gonna be, 
If it messes with my sleep, and I'm gonna be miserable when we get back. Huh? Smoke some weed. Yeah, that that just wears out. At high altitudes. At high altitudes, it helps. Smoke that's weed, what me, my that's prayers what, will not be accepted. That's what me and my daddy. For thirty days. Thirty days. Just thirty days. That's what me and my daddy was talking Didn't about. Show heathen, de demonic. Oh shit! It's just like let me gather myself. I wish you would have got here. What? So I could just have more time to <laughs> to gather myself. To do what? To gather myself I'm before. Not even to do what? Go outside. You just everything's wanna... closed, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we gotta go to the store, gotta go get some food. I mean, that's fine, it ain't nothing but six. It ain't like we're here at 11 o'clock. Huh? It ain't like we're here at 11 o'clock. You got time, bro. <laughs> you don't have no appointments today, no nothing. You got time to gather yourself. <laughs> These are the boots I got. They look, I don't know. Those are cute. Thank you. Because I was trying to get some, I, I realized how old I was when I tried on the stilettos in the store and it was hurting with me trying them on. Yeah. Uh, I got me some new fake Uggs. Some Fugs? <laughs> some Elmer Fuds? You got some Elmer Fuds? <laughs> Shit's legit. You won't even be able to notice. I'm from the front, Elmer they Fugs. look like Uggs. From the front? From the back? I don't know. You just wearing them around the house, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'm on the Oh, I about to say, don't be that basic bitch. You know how much these Uggs cost? So? Like that? A hundred dollars for some fucking That still don't justify you to wear them shits outside. I don't, I'm not wearing them. What are you saying? Oh, oh, you talking about the people who wear the Uggs outside? Oh, I thought you were saying being a basic bitch because I got the knockoffs. Oh, you talking about wearing them outside, period. Mm -hmm. They just slippers. I just needed um some creep slippers to go with this. And the slippers I had wasn't cutting it. So I leave. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, but it's all needed. It's all needed. Oh, I had one back and got this. Because <laughs> it matched my coat. It got the colors of my coat in it and the colors of this in it. So, like, it went perfect. Oh, no, it didn't. I mean, it's still gray in it. This matches my coat, though. Mm -hmm. So, don't judge me. When I go, uh, yeah, I literally unpacked my hoe bag. I moved in. Literally just moved in for three days. Three days. Oh, I thought this was bad. Better not be broke. So my wheel on my um bag better not be broke. Awesome. Hey, how you that? So excited! Hmm? I'm so excited. It's my first alone trip with you, except for camping. So these gotta go somewhere else because they can't fit in here. Unless we we'll put them up here. What's gonna block the door? It's not gonna block the door enough for you to not be able to get in. I need the door open. That's why. What are you doing? That's not doing. It. Why? So it can be wide. What are you pulling out of the closet that needs to be that needs to for the door to be open that much? I need girls need to see. You so you telling me you can't see? No, it's right dark. Here. No. Because you got that up there. It's blocking the light. You admit it. Mm -hmm. At least you finally admit to something. You said at least I finally admit to something. Yeah. I admit to everything that you ask me. I don't, I'm never, I don't never lie to you about nothing. Sometimes I'd be looking ugly and I'd be like, do I look ugly? You'd be like, no, you're to beautiful. To me, you don't. No. At that moment, to me, you don't. You're beautiful. Just because yo, you think you're ugly fuck, don't like, mean that I gotta think you're ugly fuck. I'd be like, this nigga trying to set me up. You know damn well I look ugly right now. No, nigga, I think you look cute. Bitch, is that possible? Is that possible? For me to think that you look cute on your ugly days. Ooh, so you admit that it's my ugly days. Because you feel as if it's your ugly days. I didn't admit shit. You You're just trying said, to jump and make me admit something. Why are you doing short people stuff? <laughs> just for that. <laughs> so. 
I just wanted to check in really quick. Um, I know I look crazy. I took that wig off. That wig was itchy. I'm not a wig person. I don't wear wigs like that. So, But I bought two wigs for my birthday because I didn't feel like dealing with my hair. But at this point, I kind of would rather deal with my hair. So if it comes to that, I'm going to take these braids out my hair and deal with my hair. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about um, the resort so far and where I'm at and... Just wanted to catch up with everybody before I kind of get into the weekend. Well, not the weekend, the week, because we're here on a Monday. I decided to come Monday because my birthday is on Wednesday. So I decided to come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I keep on thinking this. I'm trying to hurry up and shoot this before. He's downstairs playing pool. So I'm trying to hurry up and shoot this before he comes back. I did show you guys the resort. Um, I showed you guys the room. I gave you guys the room tour um so far i would give this a five stars honestly check-in process was easy booking was easy getting here was easy it's in an amazing location because i'm right in the middle i'm not downtown breckenridge she said downtown breckenridge is probably like five minutes from here but we're in breckenridge and we're surrounded by mountains which i'll show you guys like the view in the morning yeah i'm mad i forgot my ring light well, I didn't forget it. I just didn't bring it, but I should have brought it because I need my ring light. Like, I can't even, like, do selfies or anything because I don't have my ring light. But, um, anyway. So, so far, so good. The resort is very nice. It's very spacious. It's, the bathroom is amazing. You know, I'm a bathroom and a room person. Like, the room has to look good. The bathroom has to look good. If it has a kitchen, it has to look good. Like, living room, this five stars like look at the just look at the kitchen like look at the kitchen and then the fireplace and then the views oh my god like you guys need to see the views it's dark right now so you're not gonna be able to see the mountains and everything but it's it's amazing i just want to touch you guys know that i couldn't have been, picked a better hotel for my birthday even though I'm not in the place that I wanted to be, I wanted to be in Egypt, but I'm trying to make the best of it, the best of being in the United States. I um, decided to come to Colorado and everybody's just like, um, why did you choose Colorado? Like, why do you want to go to Colorado? This is what all the people I'm saying, but they ghetto, they ghetto. Because where should I have gone? Should I have gone to Miami where everybody else goes? Like that's, everybody goes there. I've never, I've literally never been to Miami. From this day right here, March 1st, 2021, I have never been to Miami, like never. So I'm going to go one day, but it's not, it's on my list of places to go, but it's not on my bucket list, if that makes sense. Like it's not something that I'm, no place that I'm dying to go to, but it's just like people are making it ratchet and ghetto. Like it's not even like, I don't know, it's not no place to be like, oh, I'm in Miami. Like everybody's in Miami. Like Literally, the flight to get to Miami round trip is like $96. Like, please, okay? Like, I'm not even trying to go there. I'm trying to go places that people don't go. And Colorado is starting to become the new ratchet because everybody's been coming to Colorado this year and last year. Um, so it's kind of, I am i don't know, I just had to get my Colorado trip in before it becomes the next Miami, like the place that everybody goes to in the winter. But a lot of people don't come to Breckenridge. Everybody that I've seen have said they were in Aspen, which at this point, I don't know if people are lying, just saying that they're in Aspen, but Aspen is far as fuck. Like, I'm not going to Aspen. That's a whole nother journey. Once you get off the airplane, because we landed in Denver. So once you get off the airplane in Denver, that's like a whole nother long drive, four hours, I think, almost four hours away, because this was an hour and a half drive to get to Breckenridge. So to get to Aspen, that's probably another four hours, that's probably four hours, not another four hours, but from here is closer because, you know, this is going west, I believe. Yeah, this is going, it's going west. So if I kept going west, I would have got led to Aspen. But I wasn't really interested in Aspen because there wasn't really too many things to do. Um, when I looked it up, it just seems like overpriced, like kind of like a ritzy area where ritzy people go. And I wasn't with it, so I didn't go there. Um, but this, this resort is, is amazing. I mean, I would definitely recommend it. Um, the link to the resort will be in the description below. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all and tell y'all like, so far so good. This is the first night here. We got here at, um, 
Our flight landed at 12.30. By the time we got the rental, the rental, oh my God. We rented from Fox Rental. You know, not really like hating on them as a, you know, a company or whatever, but that line was ridiculous. Like we were literally in line for an hour just to get a car rental, even though I had a reservation. Like we were in line for a whole hour trying to get a rental and I was just so like, what the fuck? Luckily we didn't have nothing planned to do today. Like today was just kind of like, come in, fill out the resort, fill out the environment. We're probably gonna go to the, um, what do you said, the uh, dispensary? Um, I don't smoke, I'm not, I don't smoke, but um, my boyfriend does. So that, you know, of course you come to Colorado, you wanna go, you know, see what the smoke is like. So that's what he's gonna do. We're gonna go do that um, and then go get something to eat and then probably just kick it and just chill and enjoy the room tonight. Um, and then tomorrow we are going, tomorrow we're going snow tubing. So here's the thing. Okay, so I didn't know that skiing was so fucking expensive. Like that shit is expensive. Like to rent the, cause we wanted to go snowboarding. So to rent the snowboards, I think it was like almost $200. If I'm not mistaken, that was for four days, but I'm changing it to one day so that it's not, you know, I'm not paying that much for the snowboards, but to rent that, but that's not where the fucking, that's not getting on the lift you have to get a lift ticket and a lift ticket is 150 dollars here yes it's one a one day pass lift and everything shuts down at four so basically you got to be up scott early to get your money's worth for the lift and i'm just like at this point i'm like oh my god like i'm just like trying to figure out like how you know how we're gonna do this tomorrow because we're going snow tubing in Keystone, Colorado, which is about 30 minutes from here, he says. So we gotta wake up pretty early tomorrow so that we can head out there. And then the next day after that, which is my birthday, I had us plan to go snowmobiling and I probably wanna do um, a carriage ride. It's a horse carriage ride, a dinner ride. So we're probably gonna do that. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's that's the plan for tomorrow um and the next day and then we leave thursday i wish we could stay longer but i have someone watching my son if i would have brought my son with me i probably would have stayed at least four or five days because this resort is beautiful so i'll definitely be coming back here um definitely i just gotta see it's, it just doesn't include food that's the only thing if they included food like this would be it but they don't they don't have food here so you gotta still go buy food but the resort for three three nights was nine hundred dollars i believe yeah it was like 300 a night so it's pretty pretty pricey no it was like 200 a night because the taxes and fees and stuff i have to look but i'll post the price down below but um yeah, so I just wanted to touch bases with you guys before he gets back up here because I hate talking in the room while other people are in here. So I just wanted to let you guys know so far what's going on, what, um, because this is the type of information that I want to know when people do vlogs, when they're traveling. I need to know details. I want to know what hotel you're at, if the hotel is nice, if the hotel is nice and you're walking around showing us the hotel, what, re what resort is it? We shouldn't have to be in the comments what resort is that what fucking resort is that like why are you showing us if you're not going to tell us what the resort is then i want to know what you did what company did you use how much was it like people are trying the whole point of vlogs for me yes is to show your experience and document your life and your you know your travel experiences but for me it's also being informative to other people who are thinking about traveling because that's the that's why people watch travel vlogs because they want ideas of places to go so if you're not giving them information that they need, what's the point in you vlogging and posting it and just to get people all hyped up and you don't tell them anything, you know, everything's a goddamn secret nowadays and it's just so annoying. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, that's what we're doing now. So I'll probably vlog a little bit, but I don't wanna make the whole trip vloggy because it's my birthday. I kinda wanna just enjoy it. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called, but the, the thing altitude the altitude difference it's got me seeing like if you switch your your camera on your phone to 60 frames per second and you see how it's moving that's how i'm seeing right now literally like that's how i'm seeing like i don't know if it's the altitude or what whatever it is but everything looks like super clear 
even though I have contacts on, but everything looks super clear and it's like moving like fast. Like it just looks like it's in 60 frames per second. Like it's so weird. And I thought I was tripped out. And you know, my boyfriend, I thought he was going to say, are you on drugs? Like, are you crazy? And I was just like, um, everything is moving like fast. Like, I don't know how, like, how to describe it, but it's just like, if you put the camera to 60 frames per second, you'll see what I'm saying. But anyway, um, that's all I want to say right now. Um, I unpacked for y'all. I didn't do um a packing, which I should have. I thought I was gonna do that, but I decided not to. Um, see, it's the bathroom. I decided not to, but the thing is, they're big on um, they're big on being warm here, because if you're cold, you're not gonna have fun. You're not gonna be enjoy yourself. You're gonna be ready to go. Like, so the big thing is to not be cold. So I got me a North Face. Um, y'all y'all don't even know. Like, it took me so long to find a coat. Like, you don't even understand. So I got me a North Face. This jacket is bomb. This jacket is warm. Um, this jacket is warm, but I don't know how warm yet. Because it was warm, like, just standing outside and driving and you know, just walking inside, like, it's warm like that, but I don't know if it's going to be warm out there at the top of the mountain going snowboarding or going um, tubing and stuff, but I'll let y'all know um, I was going to do a review on this coat because when I looked up the reviews on this coat, they weren't really giving me good reviews, but I had to base it off of the website, which this is labeled as their warmest coat. I had a different one at first that I didn't like that I got from Amazon. It was a North Face, but it was a different style. But this one, um, I like this style better. This is a cropped one. I'll put the link in the description, but I'm gonna test it out and then I'll let y'all know if this is a good enough coat for skiing because I saw everybody has the snowsuits and stuff and I couldn't find a snowsuit that was cute enough for me. So I had, I got, um, instead of doing the snowsuit, <clears throat> Instead of doing the snow suit, see, I got time lights in the uh, closet and everything. I didn't unpack, y'all. Well, I had, uh, y'all saw me unpacking earlier. But anyway, so I got this from Misguided. Um, I was going to do a whole packing what's in my bag video, but I was like, I'll just show y'all when I put the stuff on. I'll just like every day. But this is like a bodysuit. See, it snaps under and it's like that. So this is like a, a shell. Like this goes over something. So I purchased this off Amazon. This is like an um, undergarment. And it has to be wool. Do not get cotton. Like really look up what type of, you know, what type of stuff you're supposed to get. And then um, it comes with the pants and everything. I don't even know if y'all can see. But y'all see what I put it on. Y'all see. It's wrinkled right now because I had it stuffed in my bag. But I got that. And I couldn't find boots either because I was going to get Uggs. <clears throat> I know I'm talking y'all head off. I feel like I'm out of breath. Like, I'm just getting out of breath just moving around. That's how I know, like, it's something, like, the altitude is different. Like, I just feel like I can't breathe. Like, <laughs> anyway. So, I feel like it's probably going to be harder for me to catch my breath. But I got Sorel boots. I haven't worn these yet. Um, these are for the snow. They're waterproof. Um, they feel pretty good. Um... Yeah, I was looking for some boots that's for like this. Can y'all see me? Y'all can only see. I'm, I'm sitting here talking to the camera. Y'all can't even see me. Okay. So I was trying to get some boots for um the snow. I was Like I said, I was going to get Uggs. And then my sister was like, Uggs? Because I've never owned a pair of Uggs in my life. Like, um... So I was gonna get some Uggs and then my sister was like, uh, you can't wear Uggs in this. They're not for like, they're not water, they're not for the snow. They're not built for the snow. And I see what she was talking about because when I went into the Uggs store to try them on, I felt them and I'm like, this is what y'all paying 200 and something dollars for? Like those shoes, they felt so cheesy. Like I literally thought the bottom of Uggs were like this. Like this is like a hard rubber. This is like a hard rubber bottom. Like I thought the uh, bottom of the Uggs were like this. No, the bottom of the Uggs feel like foam, just like the cheap versions of it. So it's like no difference. There's no real reason 
to buy the Uggs. Like, oh, I also bought this coat. Let me just bring y'all to it because I just got the zipper stuck. But y'all saw this coat in my um try on haul for Miss uh where I got this coat from. Can I get this from uh pretty little things, I think. Yeah. I got this coat from pretty little things. So this is not gonna probably not gonna do shit because this coat is like thin. It's thin warm. I'm sure it'll be warm like for regular cold weather, but for this Colorado weather, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let me stop talking y'all head off. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop talking y'all head off because I'll check back in with y'all maybe a little later on tonight. We're supposed to be doing a photo shoot because my boyfriend is a photographer. So make sure y'all check him out. I'll probably link his page if I don't if I feel like y'all not gonna be thirsty. But he he does do photography, so we're hopefully gonna take some good pictures and see how that goes but we gotta wake up early tomorrow yeah All right, bye.